Hello, this is Ming Na. Every year, approximately 300 children under the age of five drown in swimming pools and spas. Thousands more hospitalized after close calls. Every single one of these deaths and injuries is preventable. Simple steps save lives. And not just one or two steps, but multiple ones must be taken at all times to ensure safety around pools and spas. That's what we mean by pool safely. So always apply as many of the following simple steps as possible, because you never know which safety step will save a life, until it does. When there's the potential for trouble, my boy is going to find it. So I pool safely by staying within arm's reach. No matter what kind of pool, lifeguards or not, a designated adult watches the kids. When I'm the water watcher, I move my chair near the edge. I do a regular head count and step in when there's too much horsing around. When there's a group of kids and parents, we always know who the water watcher is, and we always keep track of our own kids. And when swim time is over, when the kids are out of the pool area, is when I make phone calls, respond to texts, and chat with friends. I do everything I can to keep the kids I sit safe, starting with always keeping an eye on them. A pool fence is also a super important way to pool safely. It's a physical barrier that keeps kids out of the pool. Fencing needs to be at least four feet high, ideally five and impossible to climb. It has to have a gate that closes and latches securely on its own and a latch release knob that cannot be reached by little ones. It should surround the entire pool but if your home creates a fourth wall that blocks off the pool area, make sure you install and use door alarms. A fence is the guardian that's always vigilant, but it doesn't replace supervision and water safety skills. If the family I babysit for has a pool, I make sure to talk to them about the system of safety they use and then add my own steps. Pool and spa safety covers are a great way to pool safely. Visually, they say not open. And covers tested to meet safety standards should be strong enough to hold a child or children who don't know any better and teach kids to stay away from them. Spa should always be covered and locked when not in use. There are pool covers designed to be used daily too. Automatic ones that can be used and removed by an adult in a short time. So choose the one that works best for you. And don't forget about those ladders on above ground pools either. Take them out when not in use. They scream, climb me, to the little ones. And as always remember, nothing replaces constant supervision. Jake is three, which means he's quick, agile, and super curious. So we pull safely with a couple of alarms. One goes off when the back door that leads to our pool is opened. The other is in the pool itself and goes off when something falls in the water. This way, if a neighbor's child or a friend or even Jake somehow gets to the pool without anyone knowing, I'll know about it instantly. There are many alarm choices. Ones for house doors, the pool gate, surface wave and underwater alarms, even ones that your child can wear. We chose the system that works best for us. You can choose the system that works best for you. And remember, the close supervision is always a requirement. My girl is always curious, and that can be dangerous in a pool or spa. We pool safely by staying away from drains, skimmers, pipe and vacuum lines, and other pool equipment that can pose a danger to swimmers. It may sound strange, but whenever we go to a new pool, I make sure to ask about new safety drain covers. They can help prevent swimsuit straps, jewelry, and hair from getting entangled, and they are shaped to prevent suction from trapping a person. Plus, public pools and spas are required by law to have them. My daughter teases me for being a safety drain cover geek, but she's worth it. 
We know that simple steps save lives. Drownings in close calls are eight times more likely to happen to kids who can't swim, or to kids being supervised by adults who can't swim. It's why swimming lessons are a crucial water safety step. In fact, swimming is the only sport that can save a life, and lessons are available to kids and adults of all ages. To know what's right for your child, do what I did and ask your pediatrician. Then ask your swim instructor to include other age-appropriate water safety skills. For lessons, try your local Y, American Red Cross chapter, or community pool. But remember, even good swimmers can drown, so make sure there's always supervision. Most of us know someone who has had a close call in the water. Unfortunately, my close call is about me and my son. It was at a pool without a lifeguard, but with lots of people. By the time I got to him, he was unconscious. I pulled him out and had to perform CPR. It worked. Now I take a CPR refresher course every year through the American Red Cross. It's how I pool safely, and it's something we all can do to build our own water safety skills. Take a CPR course, please, because you never know which step will save a life, until it does.